Hey, it's Blake's Nature Life, and we're on a pawpaw hunt. And John just spotted a long leaf pawpaw. Slim leaf. A slim leaf, I meant. Just back in. This, this one grows up at the top of the hills with the long leaf pines. Oh, yeah, look at it. It's a fire adapted species. How old do you think this one is? This one looks like it hasn't been burned for or a while. Or anything for at least, at least a couple years. So you can see the uh, very similar to the other pawpaws, just has longer leaves. And then they have a deep taproot to protect from fires. Yeah, they, they have a big underground stump. It might be this big and it can come up very quickly after a fire. And then these, they have, they're pollinated by bees, not beetles and flies. They yeah. have a different flower. Yeah, big, big, pretty white flowers. Man, that is cool. And this is uh See how the leaves are more leathery? Yeah. They got that adaptation to kind of drier, scrubbier environment. They're pretty though. Hoping to find one of these with fruit on it. We just found some crepe myrtle bonsai. So these look like, what do you think, runner roots from these big ones back here? Yeah. We're still looking for the pawpaw, trying to find the big one. All right, what'd you say, John? I think we're getting closer. What, 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 say, what makes you say that? The environment? Yeah, it's starting to look like where I saw them at. Cool. You see that? Look at that, that, that hive down there. Ooh. I never seen them make it so low. We gotta be careful. Can't tell if it, yeah, it's still active. Oh, cool. All right, John. John spotted the first pawpaw. It's not, a little, not very grand, but it's, it's better than not seeing any. We couldn't find the big one. But hey, yeah, here's some little ones. How old is this pawpaw, you think? In the shade like this, probably 10 or 20 years. Wow. They go really slow in the shade. Here's, here's some little babies. I imagine they're all root suckers of each other. So if, you look, if you look through here, there's a whole bunch of them. See how see how little they are? Yeah. Down here. So the issue is we couldn't get to the right spots because of the, uh, the storm a while back, not a lot of trees down. Uh, and but, it's too late in the day. Yeah, it'll take us forever to walk. It'll be dark time. What kind of tree is that one with the big leaves? Telia. Telia, huh? American linden. Hmm. How about that? We also finally called, seen one. Also called basswood. Basswood. Is this one similar to the the pound one you have? No, it has different leaves. Yep. If you look at it, the characteristics of it are in between that small flower pawpaw and the northern trilobus. Yeah, it's like a mix. Now we're below the real big one, about 12 foot. There's a bunch of them going over that way too, see? They've been crushed by these trees. Yeah. Oh man, that's terrible. A lot of these got destroyed. Yeah, yeah. And it's hard to kill them. They'll come back up from the Yeah. Ears. So yeah, you can see all the, the flower buds for next year. See how it, flat and more leathery the leaves are than Aaron Sharon? Yeah. And, and that little fuzz on the t twigs that make it kind of reddish. Uh huh. It's more reddish than hers. Hers is a little bit darker color. Wow. Yeah, I was hoping to find some type of fruit that was left over. But it's got, I mean, there's some pretty big leaves. There's definitely some that are 12, getting on towards 12 inches. Yeah. And there, some of the more biggest branches have big flower buds too. 
Right. Again, not quite as big as like a, one of those big fruited northern types. Yeah. But still, maybe, <laughs> possibly within the range of trilobo. And look, there's one coming out of the crack. <laughs> right oh, around. wow. Around the bend. Oh, yeah. That's just remarkable. All right, come on. I, I think I know where there might be some more. Okay. We can walk through before we get in trouble. So here's another pawpaw. It looks like from a rootstock. A little bit further down. A runner rudiment. See the leaves? And then they always make a flower for next year. They form it and then they'll have it ready in the around April. Hey John, is, isn't it around April or so when they start March? March. Yeah, this one has a lot of little flowers on it, John. Yep. So you think it's just probably a runner root? It might be. It's close enough. Yeah.